Hello beautiful people. So I am going to be conducting the monthly readings different for November. Um, so I'm going to be just doing the elements. Okay, so we have water signs, earth signs, air signs, and fire signs. So in the readings, um, I will cover um, just a general reading, of course, and then I will be pulling um, some additional cards to get some clarification. And then towards the end of the reading, I will have a card for each zodiac sign, okay? So stay tuned and uh, feel free to give me some feedback um, and let me know how you guys feel about this new style, okay? All right. Hello water signs, I'm here to provide insight and guidance for you guys for the month of November 2019. So this is going to be for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio and as you can see the format is different. So feel free to give me some feedback and let me know how you guys like it. Okay, I just want to try something new. So I pulled two cards here starting out. Um, the first card being what you guys are moving away from in the month of November and what you guys are moving towards in the month of November. Okay, so what you guys are moving away from, we have the Eight of Cups here. Okay, so I see that you guys are moving away from an emotional cycle. Okay, an emotional cycle that you have um, been in for some time. But for some of you, you, you are moving forward. Uh, you're moving away from this vibe, but you're still looking back, okay? So there might be, um, you know, some occasions where you might result back to your old ways of behaving or old way, old emotional ways, okay? Um, that's for some of you. You know, for other, uh, others of you, you guys are leaving this vibration behind. You are in search for something better. You are in search for something more fulfilling because after the Eight of Cups is the Nine of Cups. It's a wish fulfillment. It um, also talks about self-love. So um, if some of you have been struggling with some self-esteem, self-worth, I see that you're going to be coming out of this vibration, okay? Um... And if that's not the case, this is just an indication that it's really important for you, Water Sign, to get out of this cycle, this emotional cycle um, that you have been in for quite some time. Um, I'm also hearing look back. Um, so you may be looking back on some emotional traumas that you've had, some losses that you've had, something that really triggered your emotions. Um, it's going to be a call for you to look back and uh, review these things and heal from them so you can be able to move forward, okay? And of course, this is for all your water signs, okay? Because this is the Eight of Cups, okay? So this is water. Um... You also could be leaving an earth sign, water sign person behind as well, okay? That's for some of you. So what you guys are moving towards, you're moving towards the Six of Swords here. And the lady in this picture looks pretty comfortable. She kind of and she kind of looks like she's on bed rest, you know, a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. But she looks like she's on bed rest. I mean, she's in a boat. But she looks like she's laying down and doesn't feel well. Either sleeping or just doesn't feel well, okay? So I see that you guys are going to be moving towards calmer waters. Or this is just an encouragement to move towards calmer waters. Um, tap into your more so of your logic instead of the emotions. Yes, our emotions are able to tell us when things are wrong, when things are not really going right, but it's really going to be a call for you guys for the month of November to really tap into your logic. Um, have that forward thinking, okay? Really uh, take analysis of, of the thoughts that you keep because um, if you start to have doubtful thoughts or just um, negative thoughts or just scattered thoughts, it can really affect the emotions and then you're back into that, you know, um, emotional cycle, okay, and you don't want to go back there. So it's really going to be a call for you to really take a look at the thoughts that you're keeping, but um, most of you will be moving towards common waters. You guys will be moving um, physically as well and just mentally. You're going to be in a whole different mindset, which is 
really amazing because a six of swords is really a um, peaceful card okay also this could represent that some of you water signs will be going back to something familiar okay um, <laughs> I kind of say uh, revisiting the scene of the crime. So you may have went through a very difficult time with a partner or with um, your connections, and you're re you're going back to it. You're going you're you're visiting the scene of the crime. Okay, you're going you're going back to the drama. Okay, that's for some of you, not all of you. Okay, uh, you could just be going back to this person to just. Um, you know, bury the hatchet, you know, uh, to create a sense of peace, a truce. Okay. So for some of you, um, but I definitely see you moving towards calmer waters, um, having a peace of mind, um, being able to rest finally. Um, some of you could have been emotionally restricted, really unhappy with where you were at, the people you were dealing with. And so now you're moving away from this over to something much more pleasant, something much more harmonious. You have a sense of freedom. OK, um, you may not have been able to express your emotions and now you're able to express what it is that you're feeling. Um, and you're starting to take action as well, okay? Um, this could be expressing how you feel to a partner, colleagues, it can really be anyone, but your things are really starting to flow for you, okay? So good for you. What else am I seeing here? Um, I'm hearing also take your time. And also, when I was meditating on water signs, and this is just crazy. I don't know if you guys know what the Chinese water torture is, where <laughs> the person or the victim lays down and they drip water on their forehead very slowly. And it either makes drives them crazy or makes them um, feel as though they're drowning. There's different techniques, but the one that I know of is the dripping on the head. Okay, that's what I saw automatically so you guys may have been completely drowning in your emotions um, maybe someone was torturing you emotionally maybe you were torturing yourself emotionally okay so um, when I saw that I, I automatically thought okay somebody's either somebody's being tortured okay uh, mentally spiritually or emotionally okay so really watch out for that all right um, okay, so we then we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Seven of Cups, Five of Swords, and the Two of Swords, not Two of Swords, Two of Wands, excuse me. So the Queen of Wands, so you could be dealing, um, uh, and sorry, with the Six of Swords, you could be dealing with the Air Sign, Fire Sign person, or uh, someone with these energies, or this could just be, represent you having these energies in your chart. So, Queen of Wands, you could be dealing with the um, Fire Sign person, or have this in your chart, um, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, okay? Um, this person seems to this person seems really into themselves um, and I'm hearing as they should because <laughs> fire signs tend to be really into themselves okay so you could be dealing with the fire sign that's really into themselves um, very charismatic good looking charming and this person really makes you happy you know really makes you happy um, it's like the sky is the limit for you guys. This is what I'm hearing. So, water sign, the person that you're dealing with, okay? This could be um, a very harmonious um, relationship, okay? Or a very obsessive type of relationship, okay? It can go either way. Um, because looking at the Seven of Cups here, you know, it's... Venus and Scorpio. So you could have Venus and Scorpio, the person you're dealing with could have Venus and Scorpio or this Venus and Scorpio energy about them. It's a really obsessive energy. So water sign, it's really important for you to uh, try to um, be your own person. Try not to be, for some of you, this is not for all of you, uh, some of you may be very um, obsessed 
okay <laughs> very obsessed with someone okay um, or have an obsessive way about yourself okay but this is something to really um, look into and be careful with because you don't want it to turn into like a codependent relationship and just looking at these cards it's very confusing and it's like I'm hearing mixed signals so, so from, for some of you you're getting a lot of mixed signals you may be really into someone and the person's giving you mixed signals they're making you feel as though they want you one minute okay they want you to admire them one minute but the second that you come close to them or desire them then they they get upset okay they, they kind of lash out because I have this five of swords here and it's another Venus card so Venus and Aquarius okay um, this person may not be um, open with their emotions they may be more of a mental type person <laughs> and it could be mental like having some type of mental um, issues or you know just they're more mentally stimulated than anything they're not all about the lovey-dovey type stuff and this could really frustrate you okay um and, and even make you obsessive okay because sometimes um when people play hard to get we want them more so really watch out for that if you start seeing a pattern of that somebody playing hard to get and they want you to admire them you know and you know and they're just kind of giving you the cold shoulder in a sense really watch out for that you don't want the mixed signals okay you don't want that but for some of you you do like that you like like the chase okay but I, I mean my job is not to tell you what to do it's just <laughs> watch out for that um, I do see that you guys are definitely going to be in your power for the month of November as well there's going to definitely be some options on the table for you you're definitely going to feel as though the sky is the limit you may have went through a time where um, you weren't really speaking up you weren't really um, claiming your truth you weren't really standing in your power and now you're definitely going to be doing that with all of your connections whether it's your connections with your uh, romantic um, partnership or within a, the workplace or family it doesn't even matter but I see that you're really going to be um, standing in your truth and um, not allowing anyone to bully you okay there's going to be a, definitely a fiery energy about you as well um, and then we have the two of wands here and I'm going to pull some additional cards to get more clarification because looking at these cards, I mean, I'm getting a read out of it, but it's a lot of mixed signals. OK, that's what I'm getting. A lot of mixed signals um, and these mixed signals, you know, it can leave you in this emotional, you know, uh, pattern, you know, these ups and downs and looking back. OK, I'm going to move on, but you're still looking back to see if the person changed their mind. You know, it's that type of energy. You know, so it's very confusing, but I'll pull some additional cards. Um, then we have the two of wands here. Okay, so I see this card as this is my Mars and Aries. This is very, very fiery energy. Um, you're definitely going to be action oriented for the month of November. You're going to really be uh, focusing on, you know, getting things done okay whatever goals that you have in mind um, pertain to you know your finances career uh, you know you're really going to be focused on that you're really going to be focused on um, trying to get something started for yourself so for instance if you are looking you know to start your own business or maybe you're looking for a job I see that you guys are really going to be action oriented okay you guys are going to really be um, planning things out for the future or what's to come so I really see that and that's definitely a good thing um, I'm also hearing naysayers so if you have a goal in mind uh, water sign you may have some naysayers you may have some people that try to shoot down your dream that try to tell you hey you know you can't do this you can't do that why this why that it's going to really be a call for you to stand up to them you may look like a beast to them because you may end up going off on this person and letting them know do not tell me what to do you know so they might look at you as an animal <laughs> okay looking at this five of swords card here uh, they might look at you as someone really aggressive but 
you have to stand your ground. Maybe people are just used to you not saying anything and not standing up for yourself. So they're going to see a different side of you and it's going to shock some people. You know, they're they're going to they're going to basically say or actually think that you didn't have this in you. You know, they didn't they never thought that you had this type of energy within you, you know. So you're definitely going to take them by surprise. Um let me see here. Mm. Yeah, and, and just try your best because we have five of swords and then six of swords. So try your best not to be in a vibration of winning at all cost. Okay. Um and what that means is just fighting just because. I mean, this could be a partnership, you know, colleagues. Um Really, really um, just pay attention to your energy as well. The energy you're putting out. Also, some of you could have an illusion that people are out to get you. People are out to destroy you. Um, people want to stop you. You know, things like that. Um, but it's really important for you not to focus on these people. Now, if you really do have enemies out there and they're trying to seek your demise, you need to take necessary steps to protect yourself, okay? It's going to call for you to be action-oriented, okay? Um, because this Mars and Aries card is, is very aggressive energy, okay? Um, very standalone energy. So if someone is really bringing you down and trying to destroy you, a uh, water sign... Um, you really need to um, take the necessary steps to protect yourself, okay? Because there are some, there there could be one or two people, um, and I'm hearing a puppeteer. I don't, um, maybe there's someone trying to encourage someone else to bring you hell or <laughs> cause cause some type of drama, okay? So there's like a puppeteer type. Uh, vibe going on here okay not for all of you probably for one or two of you this is what I'm seeing okay let me just um, get some more insight try to pull as much as I can out of this car out of these cards um, okay yeah so it's gonna really call for you guys to be action oriented for the month of November so Queen of Wands Queen of Wands what's the Queen of Wands I'm here and I'm feeling myself. So cancer, not cancer, Ooh, maybe cancer, excuse me, maybe cancer, <laughs> but water sign, you could really be feeling yourself in the month of November, okay, coming into your power and, and having uh, a sense of confidence. Okay, queen of wands, 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 oh lord, queen of wands, queen of wands, queen of wands, let's just pick from the middle just for the hell of it okay ten of pentacles in the same position as the earth sign okay so can't uh water signs you could be dealing with a earth sign person okay or have this in your chart so um you guys are really going to be getting shit done for the month of november okay because we have the ten of pentacles money is on your mind um stability Excuse me, that is so gross. I didn't mean to burp like that. Um, money is definitely on your mind. Stability is on your mind. Traditions is on your mind. Okay, so for some of you, you could be thinking about, you know, the white picket fence, having the husband, having, you know, the kids and all of that great stuff. Okay, so you're really visualizing this stability, this um, uh, family-like stability. Okay, for others of you, you're focused on your coins. You're focused on your money. This is Mercury and... Virgo, so you could have this placement in your birth chart, okay, or this is just you thinking about this. So you're really going to be taking action towards um, um, securing your future, okay. Um, what else am I seeing? I also see this as success as well, so you're definitely going to have some success in the month of November, okay. This is definitely a big offer coming um, coming towards you. I also see this as, you know, bonuses, you know, so if you're in sales or something like that, this is a bonus that you're going to be receiving as well. But this is this is big money. This is stability. OK, the Ten of Pentacles. So you're definitely going to be um, 
receiving this, okay, or witnessing this, okay, because you could be with someone, maybe a fire sign person who's been working really hard or, you know, um, creating the abundance in their life. And so you're, therefore, you're going to witness it. You're going to be a part of it as well, okay. Um, what else am I seeing? And I kind of see this as you, because this is being Mercury and Virgo, your opposite sign. Virgo's opposite sign is Pisces, okay? So, um, you could have Pisces in your chart as well, um, water sign, okay? But this is definitely good news, this Ten of Pentacles. It's definitely a focus on abundance, definitely a focus on traditions and creating abundance for yourself, whether it's, you know, within your family or within your finances. So you guys are getting it done. So uh, Seven of Cups, or you're at least on the right track. If you're not going to experience this in the month of November, you're on the right track towards receiving this Ten of Pentacles, okay? Okay, so Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups. What is Seven of Cups? What is the Seven of Cups? Seven of Cups. What is the Seven of Cups? Lord have mercy. Why can't I get the damn cards out? Calm down, Shade. Calm down. Lord, calm down. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. What is the Seven of Cups? Let's pick from the middle. Seven of Cups. Oh, Ace of Wands. Okay, so... Ace of Wands and the Seven of Cups here. Ooh. What is this telling me? Okay. It's time to get your head out of the clouds and start taking action, okay? Some of you could be just hiding in the cellar, just drinking. <laughs> drinking your life away. Water sign. You gotta you you gotta watch out for that. For some of you, you could have, you know. I want maybe a drinking problem. You like to indulge, you know, here and there. And um, it's a call for you to come out of your cell, okay, your cellar, and um, start taking charge of your life, okay, because this Ace of Wands is like a burst of energy, okay? Also, this could represent that maybe there's a lack of sexual energy in your relationship or in your life. Maybe you've spent your time just in the cellar. <laughs> you may not be in a cellar, but just, you know, you may be a lone star. You may be an introvert. And so, therefore, you haven't really been putting yourself out there. And it could be because maybe you're looking back and reminiscing about the horrible things that have happened to you. Maybe you're not trusting. Whatever the case may be, it's time to start putting yourself out there again, okay? Um, Spirit definitely wants you to start living life again, to find joy, to find what your soul purpose is. Because um, for some of you um, water signs, you don't know what your soul, soul purpose is. There's so many options and so many ideas that you have flowing in your mind and around you. You just kind of don't know what to do. You don't know which route to take. So this is a, a time for you to really make a choice. Really find out what your soul purpose is and what is it that you want to do. Okay, if you're trying to seek love, you know, you're not going to find real love from your couch. Now, there are some people who have fallen in love over the internet, you know, and, um, you know, it can happen. But, you know, it's a call for you to put yourself out there and really get to know people, get to meet people, okay? I'm hearing that song by Nicki Minaj. It's, it's, what's that song called? Sometimes it's just me and all my bottles are alone and I ain't going back this time. I can't believe it. It's so amazing. This, oh, sorry, okay, let me stop, okay? Check it out. Check it out. Just kidding. Okay. So yeah, you got to get out. You got to get out. You got to, um, you know, live life. Find your life's purpose. Okay. It's time to really make a decision on what it is that you are wanting. Okay. Um, and Cancer, if this is not you, this could be the person that you're dealing with. Maybe you are wanting them to um, be a... Did I say Cancer? <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Um, water signs. It may be a call for you. Um, maybe you're wanting your partner or the person you're dealing with to get out more, to experience life a bit more, you know, and not just be like an introvert and just, you know, focused on themselves. Okay. You may want that from the person that you're dealing with. Okay. Okay. So that is the five, five of swords. Five of Swords, 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 
five of swords five of swords and um let me just say this for some of you who are not having an absence of the d or the p in your life y'all know what i'm talking about some of y'all could be really getting it on for the month of um November. I mean, there could be a lot of sex going on and partying, okay? So, <laughs> I do see that too, okay? Just be careful. Make sure you wrap it up. All right. So, Five of Swords, okay? Five of Swords is, uh, what, well, Five of Swords and a King of Wands. Let's see. Um... You may be in a conflict water sign with the uh, fire sign person, okay? So we have a king of wands and a queen of wands. So you definitely could be married, okay? This could be like um, a strong connection that you have, a rom strong romantic connection, or this could be a marriage, okay? Because we do have the king of wands and the queen of wands here, okay? So... I see these cards as conflict. So you may have been going through a lot of conflict with the person that you're dealing with. Um, but it's really, a, I'm seeing here that he has blood dripping from his mouth. So water sign, the person that you're dealing with, this could be an um, Aries, Sagittarius, or even a Leo. They could be um, somewhat of a vampire, okay? <laughs> They can drain your energy, okay? They could um, drain you energetically. If this is not the other person, this could be you, water sign. You could be draining somebody's energy energetically, okay? Um, and that's not the way to be. There's there's no need to drain anybody's energy. I mean, there's you could also be dealing with the narcissist as well, okay? So really watch out for that. But I see this as there's some... there's some conflict okay someone's really passionate okay really passionate and fiery and the other person is just really like talkative they're really um they like to run their mouth a lot okay so instead of um participating in the drama and the back and forth and trying trying to see who's right and who's wrong and all of this stuff it's really a call for you guys to or at least you because we 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 are only in control of how we respond to someone. We can't really control anyone else, okay? So it's going to be a call for you to establish some healthy boundaries, okay? So if you see that this person is trying to drain you energetically, emotionally, and mentally, it's really a call for you to take a step back, okay? And do not engage this person. I don't care how much you love them, okay? But for, for your mental well-being and your emotional well-being, it's a call for you to take a step back or learn how to take a step back if things get a little too hot and heavy, okay? Um, what else am I seeing here? I'm also hearing compromise, okay? So it's going to take for you, uh, it's going to um, be a call for you to be understanding and to compromise, Okay? With the people that you are dealing with compromising doesn't mean that you are allowing someone to control you that doesn't mean that but it means that you're understanding okay so it's going to be a call for um, some of you water signs to uh, compromise okay um, i also see this as not being afraid to stand up for what you believe in okay there's a difference between standing up for what you believe in and trying to be right okay um, there's going to also be a call for you guys there might be a lot of passion in in this connection but not a lot of communication okay so it's going to be a call for you guys to start communicating a, a, a bit more with each other okay hearing each other out all right um that's for the couples for some of you okay what else am I seeing here? Um, and, you know, going back to the thoughts, you know, if you are feeling as though, feeling defeated, feeling as though others are out to get you or whatever the case may be, it's time for you to tap into that King of Wands energy, okay? Take back your power. Start um, taking the necessary steps towards your goals and try your best not to be uh, afraid 
of moving forward, okay? Because the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands are both action-oriented cards. They're all fire. So it's going to be a call for you to really tap into that, um, the your mind and your passions as well in order to achieve whatever goals that you, that you have in mind, okay? So it's that fire and that air energy, okay? Really tap into that. Uh, don't get lost in the emotions and the conflicts and things like that, okay? So let's see what we have for the Two of Wands. What's the Two of Wands? Two of Wands, Two of Wands. Two of Wands. I don't know why, Water Sign, but you guys' this reading seems kind of blah. Despite, you know, the, the, sex, the sex and the rock and roll and drugs. For some of you, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Okay, so Two of Wands. <laughs> Two of Wands, Two of Wands. Let's see the Two of Wands. Let's see the Two of Wands. Okay, Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is making another appearance. This is Mercury and Aquarius. So you guys could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius, okay, water sign, or could have Aquarius in your chart. So it's going right back to being action-oriented. Two of Wands being Mars and Aries, okay? So being action-oriented, taking the necessary steps towards your goals, moving forward, having forward thinking, being action-oriented, okay? That's, this is basically all it's saying. Um, you know, you also could be, um, like I said, could have been going through a difficult time with your partner, but you guys are definitely going to be able to move forward as long as both of you are willing to work together, Okay, like I said, you can't control other people. You can't control other people, of course, but you can um, try to compromise and try to work together. Okay, if the person that you're dealing with is not really on the same frequency as you or on the same vibe as you or in the mindset, it's time for you to move forward. Okay. For some of you, you could be leaving this person behind because they choose not to get with the damn program. And so you're just done. You're going to move forward. For others of you, you're just moving forward to get away from this person until things cool down. So nothing is wrong with that. Okay. Nothing is wrong with that at all. Um, but it's really going to be a call for you guys to have forward thinking. Okay. Like I said, it, it, this is an air card and this is a fire card. So really working with the air element and also working with the fire element. Okay. To pursue your goals. Okay. Um, what else am I seeing here? What else am I seeing here? Um, yeah, some of you um, um, water signs, I don't know why I keep wanting to say cancer. I don't know why. Um, some of you water signs will be relocating, okay? You will be moving. So, um, I definitely do see that. You will be uh, relocating. I mean, that's definitely a fact. It could be um, within uh, six weeks, uh, six months, you know, around that, okay? Um, okay, so, and, I mean, this is definitely happening, okay? You could be moving with the partner as well, okay? Or moving for work, okay? Relocating for work, okay? This could, this might be a, um, a very large trip or large relocation. Well, that doesn't make any sense, not large relocation. This may be, um, you know, a big trip that you're making, okay? You may have to cross water to get there, all right? Or you could just be relocating within the company, something like that, okay? Um, but really tap into that fire and that air element. That's really going to allow you to be really successful, okay? Because the fire is going to give you the drive and the air is going to give you the mental, mental strength to move forward, okay, and to strategize, okay. So, let me let me pull some cards here. Well, I already laid the cards out, really. So, um, the first card is going to be for Scorpio, okay. Let's get a message for Scorpio. Okay, Green Avatarine. 
okay green avatrine this is working with the heart chakra because it's green okay so for the month of november scorpio it's really a call for you to focus on your heart chakra clear out anything that no longer serves you any past offenses any hurts um, that you are holding on your in your heart it's time for you to remove this and heal from it okay um, and also forgive forgiving doesn't mean you are um, a wimp okay it just means you are releasing any control that the person has over you because when you have resentment in your heart the person's really in control over you okay so you have to forgive and let it go all right it says it is easy for me to maintain overall well-being with conscious habits of health okay Ooh, conscious habits of health. So, uh, Scorpio, this is Venus and Scorpio. Okay, are you guys doing some sex, drugs, and rock and roll? Not all of you, but maybe some of you. Got to watch out for that. It says, maintain a healthy heart. Okay. Improve beliefs about good health and overall well-being. Increase healthy outlook on all levels. Mentally emotionally physically and spiritually amen to that okay so this goes hand in hand the seven of cups and five of swords okay really um believing in your really believing that you are healthy and that your well-being um is good or will improve okay so and it's going back to the mind okay so what do we have we have the is it pisces okay so we have pisces next all right so we have garnet that's perfect because i have a garnet bracelet on so garnet so this is red so i see this as a grounding crystal okay because it's red so dealing with your base chakra your root chakra feeling like you're secure in your life feeling like you belong okay so it says I stay focused on the task at hand and accomplish my goals with creativity and determination so this is what I'm talking about this is that um, Queen of Wands energy action oriented okay stop procrastinating Increase self-motivation. Maintain focus, determination, and success. Stay grounded and focused. Walk the path to creative success, okay? This is amazing, okay? So you could be procrastinating. You could have all these options, all these thoughts running through your mind, and you're just procrastinating, okay? But it's a call for you to be determined, and that's what this Ace of Wands is about, is being determined, okay? last card it's for cancer okay so we have celestite okay so it's blue which represent the throat chakra so speaking your truth um being honest with yourself being honest with others okay i hear see notice and understand messages from the divine okay so cancer you could be very intuitive okay some of you guys could be very intuitive. I won't say some. Most of you guys are intuitive. Okay, Cancer. Improve spiritual communication skills. Interpret, <laughs> interpret signs and symbols. Experience connection with angels and spirit guides. Feel serenity and calmness. I love that. Okay. So, increasing your connection with the divine. And look at the Six of Swords. It's like she's getting a download, a spiritual download. She's opening up her mind, body, and spirit to this light here. And it's like she's receiving this, okay? So, Cancer, for the month of November, you know, you definitely will be getting some spiritual downloads. It's really if you heed the call or not. If you heed the messages, okay? Um... All right, so I think that's pretty much it, Water Sign. Um, I hope you like the reading. If you would like to book a reading with me, uh, feel free to send me an email. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month. And God bless.